What is up, crypto hackers? Welcome back to another episode of Hack Crypto, where we hack our cryptocurrency and blockchain education. We're going to change up the format here on the show. Been doing quite a lot of giveaways for literally every single video. So what I want to do is transition to more valuable giveaways every month. And this was after high demand for more of a high ticket giveaway because of the recent $300 giveaway that I did was a crazy, crazy success. I mean, there was hundreds of people in the comment section going crazy, going wild, commenting and uh, DMing me and going nuts over it. So I think that that's the route that we're going to go. And I'm really excited about it because a lot of people really wanted to do that and transition from every single episode to doing one a month at more of a high ticket. So if you guys want a chance to win this month, the month of July in 2021, if you want to win this giveaway, like this video, comment with your wallet address. That can be ETH or that can be WAX for a chance to win an NFT. But today I'm gonna to be going over the Boring Protocol. And no, that is not an Elon Musk tunneling project. This is a decentralized virtual network. And this allows people to search the web in a decentralized manner, not using a centralized VPN service. Now, the cool thing about this is that it is a peer-to-peer -peer node supported network. So all the traffic that is taking place on this VPN will be transacted all throughout these different peer-to-peer -peer RAN nodes, which is a very clever and cool way of getting on top of a cool network like Solana and effectively allowing Solana blockchain to be that centralized node in a way, because all of the metadata and all of the traffic is being rerouted and routed around on this VPN supported by the blockchain, which if you guys aren't familiar with how VPNs work, if I need to go to a website that is not available in a certain country, let's say I'm based in Turkey and I wanna go to Kickstarter or something like that, I can't do that and I need to log on to a VPN to show that I'm based in Mexico, that I can go to Kickstarter, or I'm based in New York and I can go to the Kickstarter website. This is a way that has been around for a very long time to go to different websites. And the ultimate way of doing this is in a decentralized manner that is not able to get gag orders from the government all across the world and things like that. What gets really interesting with Boring is that there are these cool incentives. And as you guys are very familiar on the channel, I love game theory and everything around incentives. Incentives make the world go round. With the incentives using the BOP token, they're able to effectively reroute traffic depending on the size of someone's stake. So you get priority the more that you have stake. The interesting part here is that bandwidth is value. And when it comes to transacting with bandwidth and having a market for bandwidth, that becomes the ability to transact with currency. So BOP token is going to be this token operating all within the boring platform. And it's really exciting to see that they are offering these incentives for node operators. Now, an important thing here is that you're going to have a physical node that you can put in your house that will effectively make you over $3,000 a year in passive income because you're helping support this network and you're getting those incentives in BOP token just for merely accepting traffic from this VPN network. Part of the reason that I really wanted to do a video on this is it's not sponsored or anything like that, but I reached out to the team and asked them if they could hook me up with a node because I wanted to be one of the nodes that is providing support for the network and just see how it works like with this physical device. So I wanted to basically have this operating and show you guys the results, show you what it takes to set up, how it works. So this will be a multiple video series here, ideally, and I'm excited to get it. And I think it's coming in a couple of months. So really bullish on the idea of being able to set this up and help govern the network. The links to that will be in the description below so you guys can all check that out. This wouldn't be a true hack crypto video unless I went through the token economics as an econ nerd. So when we go through it, there's a 250 million supply of the BOP token. Partnerships are getting 50 million or 20% of the supply. The team is getting 6% or 15 million tokens. Operations are 4% or 10 million tokens. Platform incentives are 45%, uh, which is 112.5 uh, million. And then we have the airdrop, which is 62.5 million, which is 25% 
of the entire supply. So really good token economics as far as I can tell. One important component here and one of the reasons that I was really drawn to Boring was the fact that they are working on cross-chain bridge. And this is very important. Interoperability is the future of how blockchains are going to interact and how we are going to interact with them. So it's important that they are working on this in the future. So different currencies are going to be accepted for bandwidth and things like that. So it's really great to see them working on that early on. Cool thing here is that traditional centralized VPNs run into some flaws. They run into issues with payment information. If I put in my credit card, that's being charged a monthly fee and the lack of transparency as to what's going on behind in the scenes with you know the different hosting providers where they're routing traffic and all of that you run into these issues where all that payment information my payment information is in a database somewhere and that's kind of like a honeypot that people can hack into and get my payment information and breach uh, that entire network's payment information and get that out there, which is not what you want to have happen. So basically the way Boring has solved this is everything is weighted based on the amount of data utilized. So if I only use a certain amount of data, I'm only going to be charged a certain quantity in BOP token. Having that data utilization as the way that you're charged, I think is only possible through something like blockchain payments, where it's in instant and it's tracking everything that's being done. Closest thing that I would consider as remotely to a competitor to Boring is the ORCID protocol and that's on Ethereum. Obviously Ethereum has had some scaling issues. A lot of things bog down the network and things can get slow. So ultimately that VPN is going to probably need to do some cross-chain interoperability, very similarly to what Boring Protocol is focusing on early on. So to give you an example, I would log into the Boring Protocol's VPN and based on the balance in my wallet, it would show me how long I can utilize the VPN. I'd choose the geo location that I wanna be searching from on my computer and it would connect me to that, but it would show me how long I have to utilize the service. And this is a really great mechanism where I can keep topping up my wallet. I can add a big balance, a little balance, however I wanna do it to stop service or continue service. And I think that this is a brilliant way of making pricing pretty transparent to say, if you have a lot of these BOP tokens in your wallet, you can use it <laughs> for as long as you want, but if you have not enough, then you're gonna get cut off and you're gonna to need to purchase more on a platform like Soul Ape, which I think is a fantastic brand and platform. So there are some interesting mechanisms that Boring Protocol has been using to really get away from cyber attacks. And if you're not familiar with cyber attacks, definitely look it up and do some research there. But effectively what it means is that somebody's running multiple nodes and they're really just trying to replicate uh, and take over a network uh, by running all these different nodes and do it maliciously. And a really cool way that blockchain has kind of solved this is that other nodes monitor other nodes. So if my node is operating on the network, it's also monitoring the other nodes. And if there is some malicious activity coming from other nodes, it notifies uh, me and all the other nodes, and we can effectively blacklist that node or multiple nodes if they are acting out and trying to take over the network or attack the network. By your node monitoring the other nodes and alerting other nodes if one is acting out or maliciously, it is a way that allows to prevent a cyber attack uh, because all the other nodes are alerted, everybody knows what's going on, and everybody can come to a consensus and agree, hey, this person is a bad actor. Actor, we need to blacklist this person's set of nodes or their node. They do have a pretty rock star team. I think that they have a couple influencers on the team that I follow on Twitter. That's very exciting to see. Always love seeing influencers building products in the space especially ones that make sense like VPNs. I think a decentralized VPN uh, run on chain is very smart, very transparent, combating the VPN space as that exists currently with a lot of flaws, uh, a lot of flaws in the current VPN space, just with sharing data and uh, you know the endpoints specifically. There's a lot of gray areas there with different hosting providers selling data, telling people where uh, you know all of the actual traffic is being routed and things like that uh, that shouldn't be uh, alerting them. So it is a very important problem that is being solved. VPNs are key. If a lot of you guys don't know this, I actually owned a VPN for a while and it was an exciting project. 
and uh, I've learned a ton about about how VPNs work and how broken the current system is with VPNs. And that is it for my overview here of the Boring Protocol. Overall, super bullish on this one. Going to be following it closely. Slap a like if you like it and you like Solana-based projects. And I will see you guys on the next video.